Hi guys, this is Daniel, and this is for you guys, YouTube. Um, I already started a world, but survival mode, just to show you how to begin. Um, basically create new world, type in your world name, choose your mode, hardcore, creative, survival. Survival gives you, makes you search for resources, you have to craft, gain levels, health and hunger, and all that. Uh, hardcore is the same as survival, but it's hardest difficulty, and you only have one life. When you die, you lose everything. And creative, you have unlimited resources, free flying, and you'll destroy any block with one click, and almost instantly. It says instantly. However, if you if you're fast enough, then you can stop yourself from destroying the block before it's gone. Um, that's if you're holding the mouse in. Uh, survival mode. Um, you have more world options. Default. Um, world type super flat world type makes it four blocks high with bedrock on the as the fourth block on the bottom which uh, is good for certain things but not everything um, large biomes um, which is large biomes basically I've never actually used that or been able to tell the difference between that and default but that's just me generating structures generates villages dungeons and such as those allow cheats um, gives commands um, so I'm going to cut that on. That's up to you. Um, I'm actually not going to create a world, but I'm just showing you. Bonus chest starts you off with a bonus chest. I have a bonus chest on the other world and cheats on the other world. So here's the other world. You can see it. And let's begin. This is the bonus chest. It has stuff in it. They like to break stuff up, even though they could just put it together. Now you can arrange this however you want. Me, I'm I arrange it how I like it arranged. So, okay. Now with this, you can take everything around it. And on my next tutorial, I'm going to show how to make a roller coaster on creative mode. This is just showing you how to start out um, non-creative mode. Wood has no purpose really, so I just break it up into wood planks. In which case, I can break these up into sticks, which are important as well. Okay, now might as well then put these here. Okay, uh, now we must. The first thing we must do. Since I was already in this world before the video, I am going to use a command to make the time start over. Now there are multiple difficulties. There's um, peaceful, easy, normal, and hard. Peaceful, there are no monsters spawned. Um, I do believe, however, wolves are spawned, but they are friendly unless attacked first, in which case they become hostile and attack you. Those are, I believe, I'm not sure if they're jellyfish or squid. I've, I've, they look like jellyfish, but at the same time, it's hard to tell. Vines. Apparently I'm near a jungle or something. But it's just weird to have a jungle in the middle of a desert, as you can see. Yeah, let's, let's scout. Let's scout ahead. Okay. These vines don't like me. Okay, these are... Ah, uh, whatever. If I lag any, I do have it on ultra high, and I usually don't, I've never recorded a video with it on ultra high. Now if you see this, this is a glitch that happens when the world's not actually loaded yet. But as you can see right now, I uh, don't have anything that looks like a mine. So, the wait can take quite some time, but I believe I might be close to one but I'm definitely in the jungle. So, to speed things up just for me, can't type today. There. 
Now I'm in creative mode. This is just a hunt for the moment being. I will not stay in this mode, however. Double space flies in creative mode for those who have never played this game before. Sometimes it can be really difficult to find good mine spots. But a mine generally looks like a giant, well, basically a cave, really. Alright, hold on, I'm going to change some visual settings. Make everything, uh. You know, basically. Bed up, speed everything up by lowering quality settings. But no worries. That is a possible cave, and as you can see, it is. It's a mini mine. And it actually goes all the way through. In fact, this would be a good place to start off a house at. It's okay to put mines in a cave, M caves are good for mining, or for mines. However, uh, you need. So I f oops, I'm in creative mode. Uh, I just got two extra. I forgot about creative mode. I just got two extra s torches. So I just pretend they were magic. <laughs> anyway, um, got to make a crafting table, which should go here to craft me. pickaxe. Oh wait. And generally they take form of whatever. Um, for, and now for some stone to hole up this place. Alright, now that I got three stone, go ahead and make me another pickaxe. A stone pickaxe. a lot better than a normal pickaxe. So, um, this is going to take a lot of work. And if you notice me do anything that looks odd, I'm a bit OCD. I like things, certain things to be even. In fact, I'll probably destroy that rock. It, since you're beginning, it really doesn't matter what you build with. As long as you build with something that's comfortable towards you. Um, creations destroy a lot easier when you use whatever they're made out of to destroy them. Like, for example, that, bot, that uh, thing was made out of wood, so... It was a lot easier to destroy it using something made of wood. Something that would attack with wood, I mean. Like an axe, for example. Okay, so the first thing I need to do for protection is block this off. And then put a roof over my head. Uh, oops. Yeah, I know I destroyed that recently. Mm -hmm. Okay. That other exit is somewhere over here. That other side. So easily get rid of this by mining some stone. And actually this would be a good place to hold myself up at, but for the time being I'm going to make this like the other end of my house, in which case it makes things easier. 
basically destroy all of this. In which case I should have a lot now. All I gotta do is build this before night comes. And I might as well go ahead and cave off this side. It wouldn't be too hard. Starting here. At the end of the... Uh, I'm used to flying because I'm always in creative mode. There should be no entrance from over here. That is good. Oh, the time is coming for night. A similar, uh, different music plays between day and night. Um, oops. I have a bad habit of getting lost. <laughs> so, just running all out of time. There will be times when I can't find myself. Ow. Okay, I'm a few blocks off the full house. Okay, seven blocks should be enough. Four. Okay, now I am holed up in my house. I can put a torch wherever I need one. And put a torch back here. And now to make the house even. Which means that a piece of stone needs to come up here. Dirt can be destroyed with your hand or a shovel. Since I don't have a shovel, I should just use my hand. As well as I waste pickaxe usage. If you do not start with a bonus chest, you will not start with torches. If you don't start with torches, the first thing you want to look for is some coal and wood. Because, I will show you what coal looks like, but the main reason is because coal, this stuff right here, which I'm going to mine. Not only does it give EXP, it can give EXP at least. One moment. Sorry. Uh, I was saying coal, very important. With this being your house, it's not the best to destroy it just because you want some coal. But it's alright. You can fix it back after you finish the rest of the house. Now, now for the rest of the house to be fixed. Now you see I have 15 coal. One stick and... Okay. One stick and one coal makes a torch. Makes four torches, actually. Okay, so for the time being, place this.
Okay. Okay, I'm almost out of pickaxe, as you can see. But now, okay, I have to destroy the sides. Um, the wall needs to be about even. I don't like this. Oh, that's fine, actually. But I do want to destroy that and that. Make it like a one little duck instead of... Okay. The issue now is that I'm almost out of pickaxe. The, l the lucky part is that it doesn't cost a lot to make another one. All I need is three stone and a couple sticks. So, knowing that, I do not prefer a wooden pickaxe, so always replace it if you don't prefer it, such as this. And there. Replace torches as well, I mean, they are kind of important after all. Okay, that is an issue. Seeing as how I don't know how far back I must go. Okay, with the length of the time it's taking to make that, it's time to show you guys how to make a shovel. Um, let's make a stone shovel. See? Shovel. Very simple. Now that I have a shovel, as you can see, it's a lot faster now. I'll leave that the rest the way it is. It sounds windy in the game. Although I usually don't have sounds enabled either. Alright. Okay, now the house looks pretty level. Now the duck is gone, that's fine. Because my house is still level. And as you can see, I am protected from any monsters or nighttime creatures because I'm hidden away in my house. And this is the end of how to create a house. Now, I didn't show you this, so I'm going to show you this before I go. One stick. You can craft in your inventory. I'll show you how to craft in your inventory. E. Stick coal, one stick, and one coal makes four torches. Basically, hunt for wood with an axe, you'll get a chunk of wood. Place a chunk of wood and you'll get four of these planks. 
four of these planks will give you, well, one plank, two planks will give you four sticks. Make four sticks, and you make sticks. Then you take the sticks, after you're done with them, replace with coal, and get coal. Now, for formulas for crafting formulas for pickaxes, it's two sticks. This is a pickaxe. Wooden would take wooden planks to make. Stone would take cobblestone. Iron would take iron, etc. Now this is a pickaxe. This is an axe. This is a hoe. Or this. Doesn't really matter. Still a hoe. As I said, this is an axe. This is a shovel. And this is a sword. The formulas. They always have a stick. Now for a chest, I might have enough. For a chest is this. For a door is this. For a ladder um, you know I'm really not sure. Possible that it could be this. I really don't know for a ladder. I don't usually make ladders. Oh! There you go. Ladders. Right? Yeah. Ladders are an H with stick. A capital H with sticks. Um, iron door would be made out of iron. But you cannot open an iron door with anything but a lever or a button or any redstone stuff. Um, other than that, uh, door, uh, furnace. A furnace is made with cobblestone. Like this. You don't have to have two there, but there's a furnace. Let's make one. And you get achievements for making stuff that you've yet to make. Let's, uh, go ahead and chop this. Put my furnace down here. Okay, that is off. It's out of sync with surroundings. I want it to be like this. Okay. And now I have a furnace. Put coal in the bottom. One coal, you know. You can put however many you want. Then at the top, this is used to cook food and to smelt ore, such as iron ore. Anyway, that is the end of the tutorial. Uh, any questions, ask them in comments. And thanks for watching.